If you're not using these game-changing Instagram growth strategies to boost your following, then you're probably just wasting your time. In 2022, I posted consistently, worked tirelessly, and only gained a few hundred followers. Then I implemented these strategies and had dozens of videos go viral and gained thousands of followers in weeks. On top of that, I've been doing some awesome brand collaborations and I'm now looking at content creation as a full-time career. If you want to be on that same journey, then just stick around for five minutes. Trust me, it's worth it. I'm sharing what all the big influencers do that they've kept from you. In 2022, what do you think the most engaged form of content was on Instagram? Stories. I know that's probably weird, right? You're probably thinking, wouldn't it be reels? But no, stories were the most used thing on Instagram. People are most likely to post or send a story compared to anything else. Now you might be saying, don't stories only go to my existing following? How does that help me grow my following? And I thought that as well, but it turns out that stories are one of the most powerful ways to grow your following. I'm gonna tell you how now. So we know that Instagram actually tracks exactly what a user does when they see a story. So as you see a story, Instagram's tracking if you pause it to look at it, if you swipe to the next person, or even if after seeing your story, that user leaves the app. And if that happens, then they really don't want to push your story to more people. So what we want to do is be in the sort of the top five of the stories that pop up for a user. And to do that, we need to make really engaging stories. But how do we do that? Well, here's one way, and it's a little bit cheeky, and don't overuse it, okay? This is my little secret to share with you. And don't tell anyone. What you want to do is you want to add an emoji to your story and make it as big as you can. And then you want to move it all the way to the side. Users will think that that's sort of just like a little next button for the next story, and they'll click it. Each click counts as an engagement. So if that story got pushed out to say 300 people and 150 of them clicked on that by mistake, Instagram thinks that 150 people engaged with your story. So it's now gonna share that story to more of your followers. And because Instagram saw that user engaged with your story, they're now gonna show one of your reels on that user's feed. And now if that user likes it, Instagram's going to think, oh, this is a good reel. I'm going to show it to some friends of that user, some followers with a similar interest. So now you see that that one story post has actually led to a lot more followers down the track. So even though it doesn't directly grow you followers, long term it does. But that's sort of a cheap trick, to be fair, and I really don't suggest overusing it, but just use it occasionally. But there are some really good long term ways to improve your stories. Polls. For whatever reason, people just really like answering polls. I do as well. So what you want to do is post a story and then add a poll to it. I've experimented with, you know, asking a question and, you know, you might get a few responses. But if you ask a poll, particularly one with different kinds of opinions, I've had hundreds of people answer my polls. And again, if people respond to that poll, they're now more likely to see your reels and other content in the future. So you really do want to make the most of your stories. Another really powerful way is to do a sort of question answer. So me as a parenting page, I'll post a little bit of trivia like uh, who has more bones, a baby or an adult? And then I'll have the correct answer and people have to try and guess what it is. And people love it. Like they, they really get into it. They'll message me and ask me about it. So it's definitely one worth doing. Posting at the right times is important, but probably in a different way to what you've heard before. First off, go into account insights and then audience insights, and then scroll down to the bottom see what time your followers are most active. A lot of pages will tell you to post during those times, but that's what everyone is doing. Instead, post about one hour before those times. Quick tech tip before you hit that post button, and likely you already know this, but just in case, make sure you're always uploading at the highest quality. If you don't know how to do this, then just head over to settings, then account, then data usage and then scroll down to always upload at highest quality. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that if you export something as 4K, that Instagram will then upload it as a higher quality. It's actually worse than just uploading it as 1080. That's because Instagram doesn't accept anything above 1080. 
So if you upload a 4K video, it will compress it down to 1080 and make it look slightly pixelated and grainy. So just upload things at 1080, never higher. Make sure you always upload on Wi-Fi. Don't try and use your mobile data because sometimes it just it doesn't upload right or it uploads at a lower quality. Also, when you're getting ready to post a video, chuck it onto Instagram, but don't click post straight away. Let it play a couple of times first. Doing that just seems to cause a lot less issues I've found. So before you add music or anything like that, just put the video up and let it play on your phone a couple of times. But the times that I haven't done this and I've just gone gung-ho and uploaded straight away, sometimes the video skips or it just doesn't look that good. And the only way I've managed to get past it is to just let the video play a few times. Brand deals. So this is sort of the icing on the cake and this is how you're going to make some money off Instagram. I've actually already outlined how to secure brand deals in this video here. So check that one out if you want to know how to get brands to pay you or send you product. If any of these strategies resonate with you or they're new, then please consider giving me a little like. And if you're new, subscribe and come grow with me.